Good evening, Commonwealth, and thanks for watching the Channel 2 News. I'm Ashley McDowell. Let's take a look at tonight's top stories. Governor Ralph Torres speaks on the coronavirus and how the CNMI is responding. Also tonight, we have the list of activities and programs that have come to a halt. And more Medicaid money is coming to the Marianas. We have the details. In sports, 650 runners turn out for a major running event. Stay with us. These stories and more are next. My family is on whole home Wi-Fi powered by Plume. Since we um, installed the Docomo whole home Wi-Fi, what did you guys notice about it? When you pull up the driveway, it automatically connects, and I don't have to get out of my car right away and come upstairs to go on my phone. My favorite thing is that it doesn't buffer when I'm watching YouTube. Um, my favorite thing is that when Addy calls now, there's no lag. Like before, it used to be where I couldn't see her sometimes, and I have to hang up and then call her back, and now I don't have to do that. You know what's a good thing too is that when you come over to visit, I could give you your own password. I can assign a time limit so that I can say that you can only be on it for one hour, so that means you won't get in trouble from your mom. And then you can go home. <laughs> the thing that I love the most is that I can freeze the internet for periods of time so that we can enjoy dinner time like this. <laughs> Why are you rolling your eyes? So I'll turn it back on after dinner. <laughs> Whole home Wi-Fi powered by Plume. Docomo Pacific, better together. Double filet fish sandwich for double the flavor. Just in time for Lent. For limited time. Served after 10.30 a.m. Alpha Day, Terwami, and good evening, Commonwealth. Today is Monday, March 16th, 2020. Governor Ralph Torres has declared a state of public health emergency and continued declaration state of significant emergency this afternoon. Here is what he has to say. We have been working extremely hard in preventing any coronavirus from happening here on our island. And we've been aggressively um, acting forward in actions that we've done in collaboration with our partners um, like CPA, the hospital, uh, PSS, NMC, all of our partners here on the importance of our health and even as far as uh, MVA. Uh, so in January 29, we, I issued an executive order asking CPA to suspend flights from, from uh, China. Even the fact that we know that China is about 37, 38% of our market. Our health issues here is a priority then and it continues to be our priority. We've been doing a lot of actions after that from price gouging uh, or price freeze uh, the other one is the executive order, uh, February 28, uh, extended that executive order. 
these uh, wrote a letter to the president asking him to help us alleviate our um, deficit or shortfall of our revenue <coughs> in the tune of a hundred million dollars over the weekend uh, our president has declared a national emergency uh, on Saturday which is 14 our time 13 in DC time on Sunday unfortunately um, we had a re received a notice from Guam about three cases confirmed uh, that are is in Guam now um, again we don't take things for lightly uh, since the first uh, notice that we got from Guam we have been working extremely hard with all of our partners understanding the magnitude we had a task force that been working on this issue uh, since January 29 but task force itself was created about a couple weeks ago there's a lot of issues that addresses the concern itself and having our tourists come here earlier we were marketing CNMI as a coronavirus free destination today as much as we want our tourists to come here and enjoy our beautiful island it has come to a point where the priority is our health and so this here um, declaration addresses that um, yes last night I asked the the office to close or shut down the government office for today so that we can get a full briefing from the task force from Esther Munya who's our CEO CHCC all of our partners um, this morning we had a briefing at 9 30 um, from CBP all the way to MVA I mean every aspect and, and part of the government here NMC PSS I mean every department I will be suspending uh, the government for two weeks uh, starting well we started today but uh, that will extend for two more weeks some of the government uh, departments we've met today with the cabinet again at 1 30 to emphasize that it may be a government shutdown but every department should be on standby if we need their services um, and what are the essentials moving forward for the two weeks it will be an admin leave we have a travel ban for all government employees any government that will be leaving has to have a an approval from uh, this office and unless it's a health care issue um, nobody will be leaving uh, the island we are have here a 14 days quarantine for travelers coming in whether you are uh, a tourist or returning home uh, again we are be we will be waiting for CHCC to formulate um, what is required or acceptable under the uh, travel ban? We have uh, under the CDC um, guideline. I am also effectively um, prohibiting activities with greater than fifty people, uh, and there's activities here. A community civic a public leisure faith-based sports event concerts festival fiestas and so forth if Guam has three cases then you know that the chances of us here uh, is very likely um, and that is something that if all of us take that extra precaution then we have greater chances of um, weathering this this virus here on our islands I cannot emphasize how important social distancing um, here on our island we like to do a lot of things family friends gatherings if you love them stay away from them at this point all we're asking is at least for the next two weeks or maybe a month um, avoid handshaking uh, cover your sneeze uh, when you sneeze again just 
I mean, there's a lot of pamphlet uh, brochures going around, easy to go online, YouTube. One that I also would like to recomm uh, recommend and highly emphasize is stay home. Please stay home. For everybody that's listening, stay home with your loved ones and spend time with them. The more you stay home, the better chances that we'll weather this virus across. The other one that is very dear to me, uh, well, with everything else, but our elderly are the most vulnerable. Um, and it doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter your nationality or age. When you get to that elderly, you are the most vulnerable uh, in, in getting this virus. Um, what we do is, especially when there's elderly at home, when you enter the facility, when you enter a home, please wash your hand, wash it with soap, and spend time washing it. Um, and then if there's a hand sanitizer, please use it before you enter uh, your mom, your grandma, your grandpa, or any elderly, even in establishments. Um, so this executive order also extends to Rodentina with some fle flexibility for the mayors uh, as, well, as well as our mayor here, some flexibility within the office. Um, and like for example, uh, today we shut down the government, uh, DPW. At nine o'clock we got a phone call that a trash co co collector, a company called that the landfill was closed. So what do we do is that, okay, now that becomes an essential for us for environmental and, and health safety. So we called the secretary and we need to open the landfill. So we're gonna be, this is an, an evolving uh, government in terms of what do we shut down today versus what can we open up tomorrow with safety across the board. So for everyone that's listening, uh, I continue to say, please do not panic. Um, again, you need to do the extra precautionary measure, sanitation, avoid handshaking, but you still need to just panicking uh, with the community misunderstanding or mis taking wrong information does not help us. Um, just follow as much as what the right information that are given. Uh, are we here to tell you that we are 100% safe? No, we're not. But we are here to tell you that we are 100% certain that we are trying everything we can to prevent any outbreak here in our, here in our island. And if we do have one, there is a playbook, there is, there's actions in place uh, for us to move forward. So for tonight and, and for the rest of uh, the remaining week, uh, again, please stay home. Please practice what is being uh, provided uh, today uh, in the last couple of weeks. Uh, social distancing, uh, I just, we need to do that. Um, Pues para wala na ang zoom ni Luzon manya now. Ay punta tina final ka pufa board gigi ma. Ani gi igunaisan mommy sangin lokui para igunaisan mizo ni familia ni mizo sa gigi ma. Especially ham zoom ni manam ko. So again, si Jesus masi and uh, let's work together. The Commission of Education has announced a suspension of classes for all CNMI public schools of Saipan, Tian, and Rota from Monday, March 16th through Wednesday, March 18th. And the Northern Marianas College has suspended all face-to-face -face courses through March 17th. There will be a transition to online platforms starting Wednesday, March 18th. And Guam has confirmed three cases of the coronavirus, but at this point, the CHCC CEO, Esther Munia, says there is no confirmed cases of the coronavirus in the CNMI. I have to say that in a way it was a blessing in disguise because of the fact that the, the specimen did not go to Guam on time. And so we had no, we, we were certain that it was when they said that there was a case in Guam, we were certain that it was not our our specimen because it was late. So that was uh, the blessing in disguise in that way. It did leave this, uh, this uh, Saipan today and it's actually in Guam so we will know the results um, by tomorrow or, or the next day. There have been some programs that have come to a halt until further notice in response to the coronavirus. The Department of Community and Cultural Affairs has seized Manamco Center, Congregate Services, Garapan Street Market, 
Tonopog Youth Center and After School and Weekend Programs, and Kagman Community Center After School and Weekend Programs. Secretary Robert Hunter says any other planned congregate activities of the DCCA will also be postponed until further notice. The March Against Cancer will be delayed, and the annual Flame Tree Arts Festival that is scheduled to occur in April is delayed as well. The Togaman Triathlon that was scheduled for this weekend is postponed, and the CNMI 2020 Census has announced the closure of its office until further notice. In all field enumeration activities will stop as well. In Washington, D.C., the U.S. House of Representatives has passed the Families First Coronavirus Response Act, a bill that aids individuals and families that are experiencing financial hardship from the coronavirus. According to a release from Congressman Gregorio Kalili Sablon, the bill also provides $1 billion for the National Disaster Medical System, providing free testing of the coronavirus to those who do not have health insurance. Sablon states the Marianas was able to get more Medicaid money and a reduced match included in the Families First Act. Sablon says, quote, This will help us pay for treatment if we have coronavirus patients in the Marianas. That act also further cuts the Marianas local match from 17% to 10.8%, which is especially good given the shortfall in the Commonwealth government revenues from the loss of tourism, end quote. $100,000 has also been set aside for the Marianas, American Samoa, and Puerto Rico for local nutrition assistance programs, aiming to ensure families and school children have enough to eat. The nutrition program for women, infants, and children will also receive funding as $400 million has been set aside to assist food banks nationwide. And $250 million is for senior nutrition programs that will provide home-delivered meals, encouraging those involved with Manamco to stay home. The Families First Coronavirus Response Act also addresses paid leave to those who stay home to avoid spreading the virus. Sablon states the act establishes an emergency paid leave program that would replace a large share of lost wages. Since President Trump declared a national emergency on Friday, disaster relief fund is available through the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, a $47.9 billion that will be used to help local governments make up revenue for the loss of money from a disaster. The Families First Coronavirus Response Act is expected to be considered by the Senate this week. Coming up, KSPN hits the streets to ask residents what they are doing to prepare in case the virus reaches our island. More after the break. Mom, are you sure? What about the shutters? And do you have your medicine? Don't worry about us, love, okay? You take good care of yourself. I'm in love. Yeah, sorry. The power went out, so I had to light a cold candle. Yeah. Yes, baby, yeah. I'm just glad our home phone's working and we're able to contact you. Green sea turtles and hawksbill turtles call the Mariana Islands home. They're an important part of the marine ecosystem. They are under threat and they are protected under CNMI law. Keep plastic out of the ocean. Keep vehicles off the beach. Use the sea turtle stranding hotline if you see poaching activities or if you see a turtle in trouble. Call 287-8537 and save a turtle. Welcome back to the Channel 2 News. After receiving news about the three confirmed positive cases of the coronavirus on Guam, residents were out and about today taking their own precautionary measures. Sally Limas has the details. Most residents aren't calling it panic buying. They are simply stocking up on some supplies and food, just in case. Just getting prepared for not being able to go to the store anymore. But you too was a good preparation for this and we heard there is uh, coronavirus in Guam so we don't never know when we're gonna become to Saipan and there is no shipment so I have two kids 
we are five members in the house so every time we take, buy supply from here and same today we come here to buy our supply most residents are focused on getting their shelves and refrigerator full stock up on food water especially and soap <laughs> shelf stable items and also eggs eggs will run out quick that's it we have to make sure we have our medicines and then water of course we need lots of water yeah. And residents share how they are feeling at a time like this. Uh, we know uh, not yet in Saipan, but we heard in uh, there is uh, some one effect in Guam. So maybe um, can we come to Saipan also? So here, like buy some supplies. We're not gonna go every day out. We just stay in the house, safe for, safe from this disease. I hope God will help us and. Um, we, all to, we also try to save from this effect. Yeah, everybody's scared. Yes, yeah. yeah. We're yeah, worried, worried and scared, but yeah. we you know, gotta go we on. Have, like, yeah. We just we continue to, to pray. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, just having lots of people out on the streets is not normal. So, just trying to plan for everything that we need to get done um, before everybody panics even more. One kid even likes that they close schools today. It's a good thing that they did, so we won't get if if so we won't get infected by the virus. Reporting for KSPN, I'm Sally Lemis. Stay tuned after our show tonight for the special segment of Vintage News. This time we go back to June 29, 1993. A bill that would alter Article 12 has the public up in roar. And a grand marshal takes it back to World War II, giving full description of the trials and of Japanese soldiers. And $3 million for the American Memorial Park was in jeopardy due to allegations of financial mismanagement. Thank you, Ashley. All right, coming up in the KSPN2 Sports Report, some people take running very seriously, as you can see. It works! Roll at Gold's Gym Saipan with group exercise for every body. Total Resistant Exercise, or TRX, helps develop your core and improve strength. And Zumba toning is probably the funnest way to get fit. The Shake Cafe is a great place to stop by for meal replacement or supplements. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Point of sports fans.
Point of sports fans, the 2020 Saipan Marathon ran Saturday morning without a hitch. There were some late scratches, but 650 runners were out there pounding the pavement. The starting line at an American Memorial Park was clothed in darkness for the 4.30 go time for the full marathon, 26.1 miles. All filing visitors were in good spirits. 15 countries were represented on this day. Governor Ralph Torres was an early riser welcoming everyone. This is my first event and uh, I'm actually happy that it's, it's going on um, and seeing all the young kids. Uh, from different schools here, uh, waking up this early, been training, um, brings again the camaraderie with all the students here, different classes, different schools are coming out as a group, and of course our tourists that are here to participate. I just want to thank all the organization, NBA. While some sporting events have been canceled, not this one. Well, for us, we continue to market. Guys, welcome to the Marathon 2020 edition. It looks like we are all we still have in the Japanese place we are supposed to be. Every day. Our full we still marathoners have our events coming in. Not it by the numbers that we want, but they're so still coming in. We continue to promote our Sina Mine. Yeah. So we just need to take extra precaution. You've got a blue pin that starts with the number four. And hygiene care. Your race started about 45 minutes pants. ago. And still Guys that are in the I'm yellow bibs. The majority of the runners were from the Marianas. There are 44 in the full marathon. Let's go. Two, All right, and there they go. Our 44 runners out to the north, up to Marianas. Back to the tennis courts, down to PIC, and back to higher region See you guys in a couple hours. Five of the top six finishers in the marathon were from Japan. Yasutaka Monday comes in first place, two hours and 33 minutes. He won the Ironman here in 2015. Tomomi Nakajima was the first female finisher. She did it in two hours and 54 minutes. She ran the full marathon in those shoes and that outfit. Unbelievable. Last place, still going strong after seven hours on the road. Doing good. How you feeling? Pretty good. You're looking all right. Thanks. Here's the wind up and the pitch. I don't believe what I just saw. Snorkeling, kayaking, mountain biking, off-roading, go-karting, and great hiking. Use Mariana's tracking for great adventure tours. We have the greatest guides who always offer more. And our mascot, Emma, will guide you on some fun. Mariana's tracking is great for everyone. Today's high 88, the low 75, humidity 59%. Humidity yesterday at my house 42%, which is an all time low. All right, tomorrow mostly cloudy, some scattered showers moving in. East winds 5 to 15, high 87, low 76, east 462, sunrise 623, a low tide at 814 in the morning, high tide at 1255, sunset at 627. So, Bob, I think there was some more to that. Yeah, we were kind of weekend. long tonight. There's so much sports on the weekend. Yeah. So, we got uh, we have the 5K, the 10K, and the um, the half marathon, and then the, the basketball championship, the canoe championship. Uh, so, a lot of sports uh, this week. We got a lot of sports uh, canceled, but we've got true. a lot to show later on this yeah. week. So, just hold on. Epic basketball tournament. You're gonna, uh, you're gonna wait to see this. This is a really great weekend for sports, and then it's all over. <laughs> there's nothing. That's it. Everything's so suspended. So everything's just yeah. everything's suspended. But well. this week we're gonna have some good uh, sports shows uh, later on. This week. Okay. Well, I can't wait to watch it. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Catch us back here tomorrow night at six. Good night.